while the Evernote world awaits the release of version 11, which is the next major iteration, the app continues to make some new smaller additions. I'm Dave Edwards. Let's take a look. First of all, I want to remind you that you can sign up for my free weekly newsletter, and I'll also send you a free copy of my ebook, The 20 Best Researched Productivity Tips. Sign up for the newsletter, get the Productivity Tips ebook at daveedwardsmedia.com slash contact. So we're talking today about version 10.158.1. Always make sure you're using it or a later version. The first change is purely cosmetic. They cleaned up the way the calendar appears on the home screen. Uh, they've added a little color, the way it's laid out. Boy, I, I mean, I wish they would allow us to use more calendars in Evernote. I mean, these are the ones that are supported. They've They've never added more, and because I'm in the Apple ecosystem, I use their client that's not supported by Evernote. But I've complained about that before, so I don't necessarily <laughs> want to get into that again. But this is the way the uh, calendar is uh, is laid out. You can add events, you know, like you always have. But they, you know, they've added a little color. They've added this. It's 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 a nice way of looking at it. You can go over here, and you can see the color for the events here and you can connect your calendars. You can also display your tasks. So pretty much just a cosmetic shift. The other change in the latest version is being able to copy and paste markdown language into Evernote. As the kids say, if you know, you know. <laughs> markdown language is using plain text that allows you to uh, embed formatting that can be used on all sorts of different platforms like HTML and PDFs. In the case of Evernote, there been some, there's been some markdown formatting that's been in place for some time. Um, you know, here, here's, here's an obvious one. If you type uh, three dashes in a row and then hit enter, you get the horizontal uh, dividing line. If you um, use the square brackets, You get the checkbox. If you put an X in the middle, now you get a box that's been uh, checked off. You can use the asterisk to create a bullet, or the hyphen mark will create a bullet. Um, on the Evernote Help and Learning page, you can see how you can. Uh, cut and paste all these elements into Evernote and pause the screen if you uh, if you can't find it there because I'm showing you uh, the latest screenshot from the Evernote page. Now previously we could copy and paste Markdown from other apps directly into the note, but now Evernote supports copy and pasting Markdown tables and nested bullet points. So those are the latest updates. Nothing earth shaking, but you can imagine that Evernote is adding some. Uh, easy fixes to version 10 before they roll out version 11. Time now for a viewer question. Abe asked actually the million dollar question. He asked, how can I get the new version as soon as it is released? Hey, I've been asked that question a lot. There is no sign up list. I'm presuming like with past releases, version 11 won't roll out to everyone all at once. That's pretty common in the software uh, industry. It'll probably be released in groups of users over the course of a week or two. Even though that can be frustrating, if you're a power user and you don't get it on day one, uh, think about this. If they find any bugs as they're rolling it out, they can fix it before it gets to you. So fingers crossed, Abe. Here's another one. This one is from Terry. When can I integrate Evernote with ChatGPT? Well, Bending Spoons Federico Simonata recently released a Ask Federico video. In fact, I'll post the link in the show notes. In it, he says we can look forward to more AI integration in version 11. That's really good news. He also made it clear, though, that when the new version 11 is rolled out, it won't be fully baked on day one, uh, just as happened with version 10. There will be continuous updates. Heck, as I said at the beginning of this video, the latest version is 10.158.1, so it will be a journey. 
Send me your questions about Evernote, either post them below or email me at daveedwards at outlook.com and subscribe to my videos here on YouTube. When version 11 is out, you won't miss any of my explainer videos. And let's hope you are among those who get it first. Me too. Okay, so you've got Evernote. You use it to take notes, save ideas, and maybe clip a few web pages. But here's the thing. Evernote can do so much more. And that's where Evernote Beyond the Basics comes in. This online course shows you how to use the powerful features inside Evernote and why they are important. Whether you're managing projects, tracking goals, leading a team, or just trying to stay on top of daily life. This course helps you build a system that will work for you. No fluff, no theory, just clear step-by-step -step videos that walk you through everything. You get over two hours of easy to follow content, lifetime access, and free updates whenever Evernote rolls out something new. All for just $50. Go from Evernote user to power user. Full details at davidwardsmedia.com and click on courses.